Got my hands on the new Mias Racing axles for the TRX4M. These are the three section isokinetic axles. They're gonna give us crazy steering angle, 52 degrees of steering angle on these things. They've also got a plus five millimeter per side addition of width, gonna give us that stability. Diamond cut housings for those cool looks, trust for strength. And they've even got big brass knuckles up front for some forward weight bias. These axles look great, and if they're anything like the SCX24 isokinetic axles, they're going to be awesome. So we're going to open these up. I'm going to show you what comes in the package. We're going to check out the axles themselves. Then we're going to put them on a build, and we're going to run it. So let's open these things up and check them out. Hey, here are our axles. I've already opened the bag to take a look at them. I'll take a look at what comes in the package. These come in two different colors. There's the silver anodized aluminum, and then there's a black anodized aluminum. They also come in a fully brass option. So it's a black brass housing that's significantly heavier than the aluminum housing. Same design, but much more weight if you wanted to go that route. When I first got these, I thought they were the SCX24 axles. They look so, so similar. But it wasn't until I got them out of the package and started looking at the hardware that I realized that they were for the TRX4M. From a visual perspective, these things look amazing. The anodized housing with the silver here looks super sharp. These have these diamond cut housings. The way the light hits the different angles on these looks really, really good. They've got the trussing on the top for strength. Also gives it great scale looks. In the back, same thing. We've got the big trusses on the back here. The link risers have a couple different options for positions. So you've got two spots for your upper links here. Weight on these is 50 grams for the rear and 100 grams for the front. So I love that Mias Racing provides these heavy brass knuckles on these right out of the bag. So you've already got some good forward weight bias going on here. They come complete with steel gears inside. I believe they're stock ratio. And what I do like about these compared to the SCX24 axles is that these will accept stock and aftermarket gears for the TRX4M. So you aren't limited to the Mias Racing gears. You can put in any combination of TRX4M gears that you would like here. These also accept two different types of servo mounting. So it comes with the transverse servo, which is the horizontal mounted servo mount here. But you can also run the vertical if you so choose. So you have the option of both of those servo placements. These come fully built with bearings already installed. And probably the coolest feature of these axles is the axle shafts themselves in the front. So these are a three piece isometric design that allows for tremendous steering angle. So you can see that 52 degrees of steering on this. And at that extreme angle, you still get smooth operation, which is pretty impressive. Going out to the wheels, you also get brass hexes and wheel nuts included with these. There is some light assembly required. They do provide the steering linkage. So we have stainless steel steering linkage here. You do have to build them by putting on your rod ends, putting in the pivot hardware. So I actually got two sets of these. I got the black set as well, and I already put them on a build. So why don't we check that out now? Check it out. I rebuilt Black Betty. I actually rebuilt Black Betty specifically around these new Mias axles. Because when I saw the black axles, I thought that was it. I've been kind of kicking around the idea of restoring Black Betty. And when I got these axles, saw these beautiful black diamond housings. said, that's it. Got to do it. So we started from the axles up and rebuilt Black Betty here. Really dig these axles on the truck. They look fantastic. The plus five millimeter gives it a really nice stance. It's not overly wide, but it gives it a nice aggressive stance. So these were really simple installation. I did open them up and take a look. They were greased pretty well right out of the bag. So that wasn't an issue. Installation's very straightforward. From my rear linkage, I opted to use the top linkage placement for the upper links. I kept the transverse servo mount. I like the horizontal servo. I want to keep that weight down low. Check out the steering angle on this. Look at that. Holy cow. The steering angle on these axles is so extreme. It's, it's tough to find a build that can actually capitalize on it. I mean, it is just outrageous. The steering angles that these things can pull. I mean, I'm certainly not going to be able to capitalize on that fully on this Bronco build, I don't think. Yeah, I'm getting some pretty intense rubbing there in the front. So just keep that in mind that to really capitalize on that, make sure that you've got the room in your wheel wells because boy, do these things turn. Well, now that we got this thing all assembled, why don't we put it on the course and see these things in action? All right, on the course. So I embellished a little bit when I said I built this whole truck around the axles. Black Betty is also running 
a prototype motor and ESC combination in there. You can see the ominous green light emitting from the interior and underneath. More to come on that soon, but this build is pretty impressive. But let's focus on the axles here. I want to demonstrate this extreme turning angle. I've actually, I've had to dial back my steering rate so that it doesn't rub because man, the radius on these things is crazy. It's tough to see back there, but they look so good on this truck. We're gonna get it, there we go, look at those things, yes. It's got the Mies Racing logo printed on the housing there. running the Endura Bronco specific LCG chassis kit here. With that kit, it gives me all the clearance for that lay down servo. Still imagine that this would fit on a stock chassis. It doesn't say on the MES website that there's any issues with running these axles on a stock chassis. So I'm assuming that it would work, but you do have that vertical option just in case there are clearance issues. You can see Black Betty is packing some heat. Was launched right off the course there. Oh, reaching for the sky. Still tuning my chassis. This setup's brand new I haven't run it hardly at all that's good that section though a lot of rigs have been struggling there Got the green underglow and those axles and everything so cool we'll get a shot at these coming across the chute here really like that stainless steel steering linkage it's a great contrast with all the black underneath Hold my breath here. I took a really deep line across the chute. I'm going to save it here, maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, for this build, all I really did was I bought a new black Bronco body and I took my chassis setup from Creamsicle, who was parted out for the IR40 build, and then I just rebuilt it from there. So I've still got the creamsicle body if I want to switch back and forth to that truck. But right now, really glad to have the black set up. I also swapped you know, the wheels and tires and things. Oh, definitely have some tuning to do. I'm getting a ton of lift. If I can stick it. Oh, I think I'm going to understeer. If I can pull it back here. Oh, it's stuck right there. Took a spill right off the course, shattered my rear high clearance 3D printed bumper. So I had to put the stock one back on, get back in action here. Took a heck of a hit on the rear driver's side corner didn't bend an axle though we we'll take it easier this time oh my god all right black betty still needs some tuning before can get hell's gate down that was digger number two off the course i don't want to push it anymore i did bend one of the axle shafts on that one that was not good I want to break poor Black Betty on her first outing here. Oh, 
those axles. There we go. And there's that steering angle. I did turn my endpoint. Look at that range. Holy cow. Mighty impressive. I love these axles. I love them on the SCX24, and it's great to have them on the TRX4M. They're a great addition to the build. So I'm looking forward to building out Black Betty around these things. And then I got the silver set I got to put on something else too. But overall, great setup. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Had a super busy week with the channel with a bunch of new releases, but I did want to share these axles with you guys. These are available now from ES Racing. I'll put the link in the description down below. $90 for the set, the anodized set, the black or the silver. A little bit more for the black brass. These are a great option for axles for your TRX 4M. Not only do they look fantastic, you're also going to get great performance gains out of these. The extra width, 10 millimeters in total is going to give you more stability. That wider footprint is going to help you on side hills. The 52 degree turning radius is going to dramatically sharpen your turning radius as long as you've got the wheel wells that can fit that. So overall, just like the SCX24 axles that Mias Racing offered a few months ago, these are a great upgrade for your TRX 4M. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Mias Racing axles for the TRX 4M? And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.